last week saw Tane make a bad decision as he snatched baby Maya from Northern District's hospital. Tane had grown attached to the baby, who he found abandoned in the sand dunes of Summer Bay a number of weeks ago. When the parents didn't come forward despite extensive press coverage, Tane named her Maya, after the Maori word for courage, and began to explore becoming the baby's emergency foster carer. When he learned that his lack of Australian residency prevented him from doing so, Rue stepped up to the plate and put in an application herself. However, an alternative foster family was found shortly after, and Tane was faced with the prospect of saying goodbye to the baby once and for all. With a Navo against him, a result of an altercation with Coastal News journal Peter Rolf, Tane was unable to even visit the hospital to say goodbye. Dana felt sorry for him and decided to sneak him into Northern Districts late at night, giving him one final opportunity to see the baby he had grown so attached to. Yet Dana made the foolish decision to leave Tane and Maya alone together, and when she returned just minutes later, Dana and the baby were gone. Dana was left feeling distraught as she copped the blame for Maya's disappearance, with even her sister Harper, Jessica Redmayne, giving her a serve for her seemingly endless slip-ups. Dana sent text after text to Tane hoping to tempt him back to the bay, but only received one short reply, assuring her that Maya was fine and demanding she stop texting. This week, Tane realizes the stupidity of his actions. Being the center of a nationwide search, he knows that he'll be caught eventually, and decides to turn himself in. TV Week reports that Tane is arrested and faces trial. As Ethan Brown explains that his character's decision will have major consequences, he's facing prison time for sure, Ethan tells the publication. Still, he still faces the prospect of losing baby Maya to the government care system, the exact thing he was trying to avoid. Despite the Piranha family's reputation, and some foolish decisions since he first moved to Summer Bay, Tane has managed to avoid a criminal record up until now. Is all that about to change, and will Tane face jail for his actions?